On the shores of Lake Maninjal lives the Minang people. The Minang women work the rice paddies and the men the coconut trees. In Minang country, the coconut is the main resource. Three million trees. The men of the Kotos clan live from this woodland wealth. They are the pickers. But they haven't climbed trees for many years now. They have found an ideal partner in the monkey. Buran has had monkeys all his life. Among the Kotos, he is regarded as a master. But he is presently retired and no longer has any monkeys. Although he still enjoys giving advice to young trainers. Buran is old and wary. Too wary to live with a monkey. Or so he thought until... Raina is Buran's wife. Today, she receives an inheritance from an old aunt. Jewels, a few pieces of furniture, and a monkey. In Menang country, the women own everything. House, land, everything. Buran's main interest in the inheritance is the female monkey. She's two and a half years old and known as Bobo. It doesn't take Buran long to spot the animal's quality. Her thick fur, for example, Bobo will be able to resist onslaughts from ants. The crest on her head is well-centered, which means she's determined. The shape of her muscles means she will have a lot of stamina. Every trainer has his own system. Buran has always insisted that his monkeys participate in family life. They eat at the table and have their own nook in the house. Bobo is frightened. She doesn't know the house. Buran has already lived with some 20 monkeys. He believes he must give them love if he wants to win their attention. That's his way. Raina has given it a lot of thought. She needs a buffalo to help her in the paddies. Bobo must be sold. She can buy a buffalo for the price of the monkey. It is the Menang women who make the decisions. Here, it's official. Buran's <laughs> wife wants him to test Bobo to see what she's worth. A well-trained monkey can cost as much as a buffalo. Hey! Hey, Buran! Go! Bobo is hopeless. She doesn't understand yeah. commands. She can't pick a single coconut. Yeah, go! Every year, there's a big coconut picking competition. The young trainers are already preparing for it. It's two weeks off. In the past, Buran has always won. But the young men are feeling cocky this year. They've got nothing to fear from Bobo. She isn't worth anything. Bobo will never bring in enough. And this is very bad news for Raina. <laughs> Like all monkeys, Bobo is possessive, she's jealous, she wants to be the star of the family. But Raina doesn't want to get attached to Bobo. Raina has asked her husband to make a good coconut picker out of Bobo. So the old master starts from scratch.
Oke, ya, ya, oke, ya, ah, ya, tu, ya, ah, ah, ya, ya, ko, 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 ya, 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 ah, ah, gitu lah, ya, 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 ah, ya, 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 ko, 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 ya, hey, ko, ya, ah, ya, ya. It takes several months to train a monkey, but Bobo proves to be gifted. A few days, and she's understood it all. She just needs a little practice. Buat kau jarang. At the end of the day, Boron selects a good ripe coconut for Bobo. But the reward system isn't enough with a monkey. Nanti dibelah, dikasih air air kelapa. Hmm, sabar kan? Pak, pak, pak. The monkey has to feel protected and cherished. Boron has become essential to her. Bobo wants him for herself all the time. The flesh of the coconut is called copra. It is ground, pressed, and boiled for hours. It produces an oil that sells on the market. Coconut milk is used for cooking and as baby food. Rhina will no doubt sell the product of Bobo's first harvest. The coconut pickers are always on the move, going from place to place wherever their services are required. Yeah. Coconut gathering holds no more secrets for Bobo. She'll soon be dropping between 500 and 1,000 a day, like her predecessors. Yeah! Yeah! Marila! Ah! Ah, tua! After a long day's work, the monkey's muscles are stiff. Bobo will only reach adulthood when she's three. Boran keeps a careful eye on her growth. Bobo has accepted her new father, and Boran's interest in the job has flared up again. Yet, they're bound to be separated. In Balimbing, all the Menang colors are flying. Yellow for nobility, red for joy, black for boldness. The day of the great competition has come. This is the moment for Bobo to show her skill to the rest of the clan. Boran has been priming her for a week. His reputation is at stake. As for Raina, the competition will tell her how much Bobo is worth. <laughs> Bobo picks seven coconuts in two minutes. Sahar is a prosperous merchant. He was the one who refereed the competition, and now he wants Bobo. The bartering is top secret. No one must know the price. Boran hasn't the heart to give Bobo up. But with the Menang, nothing is decided without the women's agreement. 
Dah, sama awak tak perlu sama tak, sama tak awak perlu. perlu. Tak perlu. Raina is finally going to be able to buy her buffalo. Hati dia ni bawah ni. The market is held on Saturdays in Lumbu Basung. That is where the copra is sold and the animals bought. Raina has given it a yeah, lot of thought, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. although it is hard work in the yeah. paddies. And even if a buffalo would have been of great help, she yeah. has decided to buy Bobo yeah, back. Boron and Bobo can continue their brilliant coconut picking career together. Rhino will buy her buffalo some other time. Bobo provides them with enough to live on anyway. And after all, why separate gatherers from the sky?